rulings there. Sorry. Curious. You can ask after, Dave. Alright. <laughs> Write it down so you don't forget. <laughs> we'll talk post-recording. Last time on D and D and I forgot the very ending of what happened last week, last time. But that does not stop me from recapping other things that happened. Bomb, bomb, bomb! The party reconvened after the various miniature breaks with each other. The door was introduced to a number of new fellows, as was Pavu and others. And I am doing a shitty job tonight of this. The party overall was granted a little insight into the happenings of the world and gained the names of the new gods. They did not get them all down in writing, but I will repeat them here quickly if you can type fast enough. Woad, Fithar, Shethar, Tudos, Nagdos, Eher, Korla. Hope you got them. Yeah, um... I know you met with the, the magistrate last time who asked you to do him a favor. I don't remember what I asked you that favor to be, which is a problem. Uh... <laughs> uh, the favor was we had to go uh, reroute the giants that were heading north. Ah, that's right. That's right. Giants and the barbarians. So the party headed out into the wilderness to, to prevent them and turn them back, prevent them from traversing the grounds. After attempting... That's right, I just finally remember where we're at. Woo, it just clicked. <clears throat> After deciding the giants were too far off and you were unable to catch up to them, the party turned instead to the barbarian horde that was nearby. After approaching cautiously, the party agreed to turn over their weapons to the, to the barbarian scouts who led them in. There, they met a very fat... I know I turned away from the mic. I apologize. I'll be right back. A very fat leader of the horde. Though he looked, the entire group looked scraggly and beat up. He seemed overly well fed. Deciding to push things, though they were in fact disarmed, the party decided that the clan of the rat needed stopping, since they would not agree with the party's direction. They were offered to a welcome to join them, which was heartily rejected. We last left as combat dawned. At present, the party is standing in a small cluster next to, just to the left, or you're just to the right, of a large campfire. Scraggly tents and beat up weathered clothing and, and individuals are all around. In front of you it looms a lo much larger tent out of which stands a very corpulent looking individual who, as he grew angry with you, transformed somewhat to real rat-like figures as his hands grew to claws, his face grew out long, pinched, with chattering massive teeth, sharp. As you looked, the others around you grew and shifted as well, retaining their scraggly forms. Their weapons, though of ill repair, looked deadly, especially as the party was unarmed. What are you I think that catches it up. Anybody remember anything I didn't say? Hey, right, yeah, so we rolled initiative. Did I write those down, or did we not roll them? We didn't roll. Oh, I mean, you got a bad roll then, huh? You didn't want to admit it? I thought you trusted me more than that, Lawrence. <laughs> Yes, the door did have the insane idea of trying to convert the barbarians to assault the elven city. That is, that is true. That was pushed a couple times. 
You should be. How dare you, sir? Welcome back. Everyone's rolling initiative, I think. Hey, hey someone beats me. No way. <laughs> So everybody's beating you. I rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, somebody posted a... Oh my god, that's so great. A new fart? <sighs> Star Wars <laughs> Episode Ten. A new fart. Farting rising. The fart of Jar Jar. Return of the fart. How do I? <clears throat> Where was it? Initiative, Ryan. It was in the pile. Oh God, I'm sorry. Unless see, you're sharing a fart me. video, then I can accept that. I am. Sh I'm sharing it. I'm okay, then take your time. So. You're fine then. <laughs> Her excuse, but the person in the video is not. Hold on, let me. <clears throat> I need weekends to be three days long at least. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't get it. It's just a car. <laughs> driving away. Did you turn the sound on? Yeah, no, I got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel like the only thing that would make that video better is if the dude backfired in the middle of it. Uh, I got a 15. <laughs> Sneaks that one in there. Alright, Braj, you are the first to act. Combat violence has not broken out, but you have the fastest reaction. As a bard, what can you do? Lots of things that he won't do. You hear that music crescendoed for you, too? <sighs> Oof. That's true. As a bard. <clears throat> um... I forget how... Bards work? No. Uh, can I roll insight to see if I can, like, if I think I can persuade this guy? Or wisdom? You want to roll an insight to see if you can persuade? <clears throat> yeah, I can't. I can't remember how how the, the conversation was last hard. time. How how aggressive it became. What? Well, we're, we just rolled initiative for combat, Dave. So I think it got, it got pretty, pretty aggressive at the end. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna call it a lost cause. Um, Good bard. Whew. Great bard. Welcome back to Fine Form, Dave. Best bard. Something. <clears throat> well. Hey, Penny. You're right. Not, be Can not you best bard. Um, Every bard's the best bard if you believe in yourself. Please. I think. Or I'm fart really gonna... loudly. You could disrupt everybody and make all the rats start laughing if you rip your pants really bad here. Um, baloney windmill thanks. hitting wet tile. How far deep? <laughs> <laughs> How 
How far deep are the, uh, um, all of the swarm? It's just like a shit ton of them, right? There are a ton of them. Uh, within ten feet of you, there are approximately, uh, four. Though there are a ton crawling out of tents coming in from the nearby, uh, grasses. Take a page out of Chris's book when he set or women and children on fire just start burning tents down. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. This is probably less egregious. Why we're um, so evil this time? <laughs> not just annihilating women and children. The magic equivalent of napalm. So, 15 foot cone, I can do. Um, we'll hit how many of them? A 15 foot comb, you could probably catch two. Two? How many tents could I set aflame? If you're aiming purely for tents, yeah. you could probably catch three or four. Hmm. <clears throat> Rats don't like fire, right? That's canon across the universe. I mean. Bane will be souped if I do this. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to, uh... Oh, God. Call upon my mistress and... start transforming into a, uh... Red Dragon wor Wormling. A Wormling? Want to check the description again? Unless I'm remembering wrongly. That's what I have for my note. Oh, yep, never mind. I remembered wrongly. <clears throat> All right. What are you calling out? What are you saying? I'm going to say... <clears throat> uh, you can't surround me if I can fly and show you the might of my mistress's voice. Alright, as you all watch, Raj falls to all fours as a tail starts to sprout from his back end. Popping through his shirt, wings suddenly splat from his flesh, creating a concave, almost cloak across his back as his neck seems to lengthen, his hands turn into true claws, and his jaw and face elongates, creating the form of a red dragon wormling. <clears throat> and with that, the war rats attack. <clears throat> Three of them, frightened by this new sight, instantly lash out and attack Braj. Damn it. <laughs> Braj, what is your AC? Uh, is it my AC or it's your AC until the end of the round. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, how does Dave get wings? We should have cool things like wings. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry about the gauntlet and the dual <laughs> short swords. The... What does it do? <laughs> wings. Fourteen. Like right. chicken wing? No, I'm just I'm being jealous of Eric's in character though I haven't acted it out yet because <laughs> I had in my backstory <laughs> wings, and now you have wings first, so I'm gonna be pissed at you. Um, the rest of the campaign we just sulk. <laughs> Wish I had wings. Just like walking down the road kicking a rock. Wish I had wings. 
The first war rat lashes out, first with his short sword missing. However, it latches on as its jaw clamps down on you, dealing five points of damage, and I need a con save. Are they actually rats? There were rats. They're in hybrid form. Oh. 17. Alright, you're five. Maybe. The second one seems to flail about, clearly overawed by the presence of, of a sight of you transforming into a dragon. The second lashes out with a short sword, connecting for... seven points of damage. It tries to lean in and lash you with its fangs as well, however it misses. Another one tosses itself at Eryx, clearly going for what it believes to be the weakest. Eryx, what's your AC? 16. He connects with a bite for three points of damage. However, you are not humanoid, so you don't have to make a con save. Yeah, that would be <clears throat> Its short sword goes wide. Uh, the one that just attacked me has a short sword? A short sword and a bite. Okay. As well as its fun little claws. Pavu, a small bolt from a hand crossbow, lashes out from the nearby darkness. What is your AC? 19. Connecting for five points of piercing damage. Three more bolts, small bolts, fly through the area, crisscrossing, but hitting nothing. A chittering madness sound, mad-like sound, rises up around. And the door. It's the most I can hit within like a ten foot circle. You are not set on your headset, sir. Oh no. No. Boom. Hello. It literally sounds like a boom mic. Uh, a ten foot circle, if you're willing to include Braj, you can include three. Uh, He's a if you fire. don't want to include Braj, the best you can do is two. You can target two that are not engaged or two that are engaged with Braj. Or you can encompass all three that are engaged with Braj, but you include Braj. Am I better? Yes. Much. I don't know why this thing chooses to change options on its own. I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, um, sometimes, sorry. Sometimes if it notices that you're not talking... <clears throat> if you don't have like it set as default and you have it set as like automatic, it'll just revert to. No, I always go with the <clears throat> specific device, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna hit the two on Brage without hitting Brage. That okay. Option. That is uh, not. Uh, confusion. Ooh. 15 save, and then three or four separate rolls on a d10. What's the uh, ability? Uh, if they fail the wisdom, they have wisdom. to do A, B, C, or D on a die 10 roll. Look it up. Here. What's the DC? 15. 15. One fails. Ooh, start of D10, start of turn, turns behavior for the round. <clears throat> one failed, one succeeded. You watch as one seems to shake its head and seems to be fine. The other seems to suddenly stand upright, look about, clear confusion right across its rat-like maw. Uh, okay. I'm gonna stay surrounded by my friends. Eric.
As an aside, would you consider these people or monsters? They are humanoids. They would be categorized as shape changers. Uh, more specifically looking for, like, a spell. <clears throat> if a spell affects humanoids, it can affect some. <clears throat> so, uh, the one in front of me has a short sword? Yes. Alright, um, I'm going to grapple with the aim of disarming. Grappling with the aim of disarming. Uh, Look at this. Look at this. Since I'm um, small and rogy, uh, I'd like to do it more with finesse than with strength. Ooh. If possible. Pretty sure proactive grappling is strength based. I could be wrong. I'm trying to find the rules. We never do these. <coughs> grappling. Uh, Use the attack action to make a special melee attack a grapple. Um, you know, one size larger than you, must be within your reach. Using at least one free hand, you try to seize the target by making a grapple check instead of an attack roll or strength athletics check contested by the target strength athletic or dex acrobatics check. Uh, so yeah, you'd be making a strength athletics check to grab him. Guys, my daughter's going to bed. She wants to say hi. Hi. Hi, Riley. Hi. 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 Woo! That's an eight, Adam. You succeed in grappling him. Oh, she's going. Grapple condition. Um, hi. 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 Oh, hi. No, we got a oh, this is number two. Incoming. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi, Penny. Hello. How are you doing? What is I? How are you? How are you? This is a tower of the other day. Great. I had a good day at school. What is That's I? great. Dave, hey, it's not between us. Vodka jug. <laughs> no, that's just agua, dude. That's a lot of water. That's what I bring to work. Yeah, it's it's a fine amount of water through the day. Having that much left at seven is either a refill or you're really looking to pee tonight. I go through one and a half of those a day, so I don't know. Good it's on you. Standard day. Good on you. So, grapple was a success? You have him grappled. He is subject to the grapple condition. If you have a second attack, you can attempt to disarm him. And with that, I would allow a dex-based check. Okay. Um, 
I mean, but as grappling itself is replacing your attack action, uh, I'm going to say just getting him in your grip is going to be your action there, unless you have multiple attacks. Uh, I mean, I've got extra attack, but that's that's the same action. So. I gotta leave some perks to those fighters with maneuvers. Well, if you've got a second attack, you can use that as part of the action, is what I was saying. Well, I've got extra attack, but would you count that since... Extra attack is if you use your attack action, you get a second attack. Yeah? Yeah. Then, yeah, that you have a second attack, okay. so you can use that as part of... It's all part of one action. Okay. I was misunderstanding then. Um, all right, so I, I will use... Uh, I'll, I'm going to try to disarm him. Then, and you said uh, you would allow Dex for this? Yeah, yeah, I can see Dex applying in this. Okay, 24. Damn, thought I was good with an unnat 20. Uh, yeah, using your claws, you managed to nick the underside of his palm, and then the top of his wrist, with a quick flex, you pop the short sword from his hand, sending it flying across the dirt. All right, Fabu. Subjugate them all. The music got dark and ominous for you. The villain steps on the scene. You're muted if you're talking. Sorry. Um, I don't know if this is one person or if it's like an AOE. Off the gauntlet that you gave me, you have a feared ability? Yeah. I'm assuming that's just one person? Well, that is what its basic premise is. <laughs> you have ways of enhancing that, potentially. Oh, well, yeah, by just being really fucking evil. Well, you also have other abilities that may synergize. Can't you that's, that's half the experimentation and fun. Yes, I can channel negative energy once a week, which is what I was thinking about doing, but I don't know. Um... All right, so I'm assuming none of us have moved, so we're all pretty much just in a line, correct? Pretty much, yeah. Or a staggered group, or however you want to call it. How many... It's the series finale. <sighs> I, wa I, 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 read it, I read up on what happens. Some shit happens. I don't Did wanna, you ever see? I don't want to blow the load right off the uh, rip. What's the name of the special? So, the deadly assassin. I'm going to it's attempt. One of the older ones. Apparently, the, this draws heavily on that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flex my gaunt the gauntlet before me, drawing on the power of Bane. I don't know what that is. And then an attempt to charm person. I'm forcing my will into the gauntlet and then so reaching I, I out. That, I can see like the, the leader, right? Yeah, like oh yeah. Doctors, he stands uh, out of it. Like throughout time, okay. kind of thing. So, he also draws heavily from the Deadly Assassin uh, special. And I'm going to give days. a brief prayer to Bane. Bane. 
Crane directly into the gauntlet and then extend my hand focusing on the leader of the barbarian tribe. Right, I'm attempting to use the gauntlet to charm person. What's my DC? Your DC is a wisdom saving throw. Does so with advantage if we are fighting him. Did I tell you what the DC was? No, you didn't give me one. Hmm. You just said it was charm person times three times uh, three times a day. Attempt to charm humanoid must make wisdom saving throw. Does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting. That's what I was thinking, Chris. But. <laughs> All right. Um, holding up the fist, a black aura seems to emanate from it, and a almost wave happens, pressing pressing out. Focus of which is upon the large fet where we're at. He seems to resist for a moment before you see the tension leave his body, and a ratty smile breaks out on his face as he gazes upon you. You believe you've been successful. Call them off. Anything else? Bring us our weapons. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm in, is that the rest of your turn? Or? Yes. Yes. I'm going to see how this works first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm not going to get too greedy. I Call them off! <laughs> Call them off and our weapons and your bitches. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Yes, of course. Back. Back, all of you. These are our friends, obviously. You hear chittering and hissing and looks pass among the nearby we're rats. They look at each other in confusion, frustration, anger. All but the they seem to do. But they seem to do as they're told. End of combat. Friends, friends, my apologies. I'm not sure what came over me. A very hasty to attack. I got an hour. <laughs> then he's gonna be mad. Mm. No harm come to anyone, right? Won't you join for some food? We can sit and talk. Time is of the essence. We would like our weapons back. No, no. Only clan members carry weapons into camp. But have no fear. We are friends of the rat. You sure I can't interest you in joining us? You would make good members. Yes, Braj is a red dragon wormling, by the way. Just like standing there in the middle of it all, like. <laughs> Dave is kind of pissed because he just popped that. <laughs> Dave also went to blow the load in a different direction. I think Dave's happy he didn't have to fight, but he's also upset that he used his ability. I can't tell, though. He hasn't said anything. I'm still debating, just torching <laughs> everything. <laughs> You'll probably have the opportunity. We just need to get our weapons. Uh, 
Uh, at this point, I'm going to defer to someone a little bit more diplomatic than me. Come on, Bard. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, considering I only speak Draconic right now. Yeah, well, you fail all your roles anyways. I was more talking about, like, Chris, <laughs> who can just be, like, a wordsmith and not have to worry about rolling the die. Well, I'm going to fly up and circle around. Are there still two rats on your back? They've declined. Um. Come, come, bring some food, bring some food. Our friends are hungry. I mean, I'll eat. As you watch, his rat like features seem to melt back into his body, returning to the corpulent human look that he had previously. Our friends in the clan of the rat cannot be said not to be generous. I just hate to see you go without anything. Could you tell us what other clans are around here that are waging war against these trade lines? Mm. I don't know of any waging war. I believe everyone is traveling. We followed the trail of the elk. The bears' camps were empty. The wolves, well, they always range wide. So how many tribes are out here now? Mm, at least four or five main, with perhaps up to twelve offshoot clans. And what spurs you all to begin moving now? In one direction. The snows are gone. Demaris will be moving north. It is no longer safe. The tribes must find new grounds. So you move further north in hopes of snow? Well, we are well adapted to the tundra. We need only find it again. Though, if we can find our way into a city, the clan of the rat can do reasonably well within one. I warn you, and I hope to warn other tribes, that perhaps you could reach them faster than I. Dave, Probably you can say that in the group. You don't have to type that separately to me. Any of that. Alright, I'm going to be flying around looking for uh, spots to attack in the in the camp. And then after three rounds, I'm going to land next to, next to you guys and transform back for a round. So essentially what you're saying is you're launching yourself into the air as they're talking circling around for about 20 seconds and then you come back down? Yep. Huh. Cool. If, if you go further north, you may be subjugated by another god. Ah! The gods have little interest in the war. I feel this god has been cast down more than most. It would take any at this point. The gods used to have little interest. Now, war coming. Everybody. Who is, who is this god you believe would be interested in the rat? Uh, remember her name. Uh, 
after I trans transform back and be like, oh, don't make me do that again. Oh. I, I like bristle. He said, he bristles, and yet you can see a thrill seems to run through Braj. Braj, and feel as if that change may be addictive. Ooh. Looks quite fun to me. It's the dire bear claws all over again. <laughs> Roll wisdom. <laughs> What's the name of the god, guys? Help uh, me out. I got like three different pages of notes, and I don't have god names on one of them. <laughs> Oge, Nagdos, Whiff Oh, the, the. The. God of Ice. Oh, Oral. Oh, Oral. Thank you, Oral. There we go. Her name is Oral. Ah, the Ice Queen. You think she would take in the rat? I think she would. Think she would subjugate the rat. I smart rats. Bolster forces right now. Again, more coming. The rat has no problem serving the bigger predator. They leave many scraps that can be claimed. Thank you for this word of advice. We shall seek this goddess out. May I instead recommend you seek out the god of Bane? Bane. Bane has no interest in the rat. Bane has interest in any and all followers. As Xerix has said, war is coming. Bane prizes strength, power, and might. The way of the rat is of cunning and stealth. Perhaps then per Ball? Perhaps. You know where his churches lie? Mm. No, of a couple, yes. Where? Perhaps we will send an entreaty to see what their interest may be. In this time, having a god deity may prove useful. Mm. Dwarven Town, the area of Orohead used for keep their church there and many shadows we do not have many former dwarves among our number it is unlikely we'd be welcome there but I thank you nonetheless the number will also reach Elden Town in a short time there perhaps we can infiltrate Better yet, why don't you travel south and join Sylvanas? <laughs> you are a humor self, yes. Taken aback. Why is that so funny? Sylvanas considers us a disease. Sylvanas loves all creatures. Lycanthropy is considered a sickness. By many. We've never found a welcome in the halls of Sylvanas. Nay, we are hunted as trash within his forests. The rat will not be seeking out Sylvanas. I don't know what false preachers you've encountered, but that is entirely false. Aren't you a druid of, like, disease? <laughs> mm, no. circle of the mushroom or whatever. Spores. <laughs> All life originates from mushrooms, dude. <laughs> the expanding philosophy of the door. I'll let you guys continue. I gotta back. <clears throat> A 
I love how this is now a three-way attempt to convert the rat. They're fighting over the rats. Even after they've charmed them, and they know they're going to turn hostile as soon as the spell is up. Well, I was just trying to get them to go south. Uh, whatever, the, the seed's been planted and it's not going to work. And I think we should see our way out of camp. <laughs> and off to the next tribe. <laughs> next tribe? You mean the giants? Yeah, hypothetically, but we only saw them and the giants. We can't really do much without weapons. Or we can, but we haven't. I don't need a weapon. I could possibly not need a weapon, but I would have to do some shasty shit. Which is kind of what I do anyway. I blew my load. weapon. You disarm the guy. Take it. I blew my load. I need a weapon. Also, at this point, I believe, like, 60% of of Eric's body has been used as a weapon in various, <laughs> various ways. Since I'm undead, maybe I can just pull out one of my own ribs and use it as a... And start stabbing people? <laughs> use it as a knife. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's gonna be something I try that, That's gonna happen now. Yeah. That is definitely about to happen. Yeah, that, that absolutely is. That rib that you, like, just put back. It was my rib. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, like, that one's like... Uh, we accomplished nothing further. Um, shall we then, since we're not sticking around to eat? Best be on our way. Please, please, the least I can offer are a few rat cloaks. What do they do? They keep you warm? Oh. Okay. <laughs> he walks, waddles back into his tent and comes out carrying four large what appear to be cloaks woven of various rat hides sewn together in various states of tanning and decay. And holds it up to you. I'm gonna take one. I don't need one. I'll take one, I guess. What a wonderful gift. <laughs> As you take your cloaks and start to make your way out of the camp, the reluctant scout returns your weapons. As you check out your new cloaks, you find that they are adorned with internal pockets. Ooh. I'm going to make sure none of the pockets have rats in them. Most of the pockets are rats. I.e. like a skin sewn into the inside of it creating a pouch using one one half rat skin versus the other half rat skin sewn together. Yeah, you you, you take you, you pop the head off, right? Take out the bones and the insides. It is now a vessel. Yeah, you eat the rat like a shrimp. Yeah, and, and now you stitch it together. Yeah, exactly. It's good eating. They smell quite right too. None of that fades to me. <laughs> Considering you don't exactly smell pleasant anymore either. Yeah, I should probably try something about that. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna the cloak for now and put my weapons back on. Actually, is it is it cold out? Because it's night, right? It's night, but it's not cold. It's it's I more balmy. Night. All right, I'll just store it then. I can already see Chris saying, "Can you turn the music down about thirty percent?" So I just <laughs> dropped it for you a little bit. Can you take thirty percent off there, bud? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna store mine as well. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, do it. 
does the cloak look like it'll actually keep something warm? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna wrap my eggs in it inside the. Uh... All right. Incubate without needing an incubate. Well, you're not warm anyway. Which is why I'm seeking other situ uh, solutions. And also, maybe the eggs don't have to be warm because they're me. I mean, I'm just picturing Yoshi, so... I Yoshi! Have... <laughs> I have as much information as you do about the eggs. Mostly. Alright, uh... Making your way out of camp? Yep. And what? Where are we going? What are we doing? Uh... Go ahead. We haven't completed our mission yet. So, regroup and formulate the deck? I mean, he'll, I'll tell the group, he'll be very upset when he realizes what's happened. Mm. So we lead them through an obvious trail and set up a trap. Well, anything can smell these fucking rat skins from a mile away. Which will help it hurt. But maybe we guide Rat Tribe to someone else. Like giants? Could be. Let's double time it then. Best plan as any. Alright. <laughs> Tear it off towards giants, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can I turn into a horse and carry everyone? Is that in my? Is that in the realm of possibility? I don't think you can carry everyone. What is the weight capacity of a horse? <laughs> Not three humanoids of medium size. Kobolds are medium. Small, a medium, and a uh, medium that's practically large. This is CR of an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. We can just we can just run through the grass. It'll be like this. The draft horse has a strength of eighteen. Well, if you transformed into a draft horse, you could definitely carry. Two of your three companions. An elephant has a CR of four. Boo. Which is actually impressive. What about, uh, does someone have a shield? You carry two and someone just skitches, holds onto your tail, and serves the shield? <laughs> By someone, you mean you? A riding horse has a strength of 16. I mean, I have a shield. I'm gonna say, we could probably do it. <laughs> Alright, let's just go. Alright, so you're heading off northeast in the direction you last saw the giants. Yes. Alright. Uh, less than an hour into your you were double timing. Yeah, we were moving pretty quick. You hear an animalistic howl coming from your your rear. Uh, you believe the tribe is after is in the hunt. That would be them. How late in the night are you double timing? 
I can go all night. Giggity. Well, um, rats are nocturnal, so it might not be wise to stop. Burn that midnight oil. Yeah, I guess. Is that the group decision? Yep. Sure. <laughs> All right, everybody give me a constitution saving throw. Here comes Dave with a four. That is who I am waiting for. Sorry, Ash was not uh, what, what's what is this roll? Con. Oh. Come on, you should be good at these now, Dave. We've had a lot of practice. <laughs> Pushing onwards into the night, you continue heading the direction you last saw the giants, hoping to come across them. However, the noises seem to come from the rear. You believe the rats are closing. You continue on? Yeah. Alright, give me that concept. Dave, really? What? A nine? You're supposed to be good at this now. I rolled a two. You get a level of exhaustion. Son of a bitch. That's good. That's what's gonna kill Dave in this campaign for real. <laughs> so exhausted he dies. You skirt your way up uh, one of the lower uh, hills near the near nearby the nearby mountain which creates just an ominous shade in the night. It is here looking down upon a scree-like slope. You see what appears to be the ruins of some ancient town or city. It's buildings mostly toppled, looming in the darkness, creating casting shadows. The reason you can see this is you can see numerous small fires lit within this, these ruins, illuminating and casting shadows even from a distance. About three or four miles further north of these ruins, you see a much larger fire where you can just make out what appears to be a couple larger shapes sitting. You believe you found both potentially the giant's camp as well as something else. Can't make out any figures in the ruins, right? You cannot. Giants ahead, ruins first. What think? Uh, there are several small fires in these ruins, Greg. Yeah. There seems to be people here. You want to call out an attack, cause some chaos, slow them down? The door, I was kind of hoping you could fly these uh, awful capes over and scout out the area and potentially, uh, can you, can you fly? Yeah, I figure you're the only one with wings, but you're, oh, damn it. I was hoping you could be an owl and take these and like drop them next to the, next to the giants. You, you realize that Sin Trail way. doesn't follow if you fly. I turned to Eric with a slight smile. You are the master of darkness, are you not? 
Could you stealth in and plant these capes? Mm. Yeah, Eric's like can do. And I'll hold my arms out for the cakes, uh, the other cloaks. Give him the cloak, and then I will sing him a little song. You're so fucking gay, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> You're never like I'm gonna I'm gonna sing him a song of encouragement. He's like I'm gonna sing him a little ditty. All right. Uh, once I have the cloaks, I'm going to run down to the ruins and disappear into the shadows. All right. Give me an acrobatics check or athletics as you attempt to slide down the scree slope. 17. Before you leave, I'm gonna say the closer to the giants, the better. Seventeen on the slide. All right. Jumping Good. down, your claws seem to create funnels as you slide down in a scree of rocks and pebbles. Sliding down, your speed picks up and picks up, picks up, till you are literally like a undead cobalt bullet flying into the outskirts of the ruins below. Uh, as you enter into the outskirts, what do you do? Uh, uh, sticking to the shadows, I'm going to make my way around to the far corner closest to the giants uh, and place one of the cloaks in. A... The giants are five miles past the ruins. No. Oh. All right, so I'm going to... Uh... So you've got a ways to go before you get to that point, which is why I'm asking. Yeah, I'm going to start the fight in the ruins then. Uh, I'm going to go around and conceal the cloaks in various areas around the camp, uh, trying not to... Well, not trying. I don't want to get close enough to the fire to give myself away. All right, give me stealth checks. One at a time. But we're going to do a couple of them. Uh, first one's going to be a 27. All right. Give me another. Twenty-four. Give me another. Eighteen. All right. As you skirt close, the closest yet you've come to one of the fires, just as you found a likely spot to, to tuck one of the rugs in, you glance at those individuals camped out here. You see, they seem to be rugged folk of various peoples. Um, you know, many of them seem to be curled up under what appear to be animal skin rugs. And a number of them seem to be wearing what appear to be wolf skin cloaks and hoods. Good. Give me another stealth check. After you've successfully tucked one cloak away. Uh, 26. Well, good and bad, because I know what this means. <laughs> uh, so what are you doing from here? Uh, okay. You're moving off to another spot? Are you trying to stash them all in one place? Are you going back? What are we doing? I was going to stash them throughout the camp. Okay, so, so you're moving I, off to another spot. Yep. As long as I'm undiscovered, I'm going to keep going. Okay. Give me another stealth check. Uh, 20, not that. All right, give me another one. I feel like these are the sessions that keep Lawrence, that keeps Lawrence up at night. He's like, what the fuck? What was it? 23. All right. Uh, you sidle up to a second fire, nearing, and you find a space to stash a second cloak. You do so? Yes. Stealth check. Hmm? Uh, 21. Okay. Your second cloak seems to be stealthily stashed. It's the uh, it's a wolf tribe, 
so I'm pretty sure I'm rolling against set checks here. <laughs> Never got back to me, but I did. Oh, and you, you smell pleasant too, so. Yeah, so. Uh, off to a third spot. All right, spell check. All right, another one. Nineteen. You sidle up to a third campfire and find the likely spot to stash the cloak. All it takes is one bad roll. Twenty-four. I've got advantage on all the shadow stealth. <laughs> I have so many bonuses. <laughs> Alright, you stash a third cloak. What do you do now? Uh, I'm going to go off up out of here. So you're still wearing a cloak, you know. I'm not wearing one of those cloaks. Then where'd you put your eggs? In the bag of holding in a cloak. Hmm. Oh, I got you. Sorry. I misunderstood what you said. You no know. smell from the bag of holding. He smells well enough, don't you worry. I'm, I'm pretty potent. Alright, give me... You're heading back to the group? Yes. Why don't you bathe? Then He's because undead. I'm undead. I'm pretty sure I just melt away cabin fever style in the water. <laughs> give me seven stealth checks to get out of the ruins. Come back, D20! Oh, that one's gone for the night. <laughs> Lost. I can see it. I'm just not crawling under the table to get it. Maybe one of these will have better luck anyways. I'm going to stop rolling until you give me rolls. I think I'm going to forget my own. I'm going to forget my rolls by the time I see rolls to compare them against. So they're all going to be plus 20s over here. You said 7? Yeah. One of them's not a plus 20. Mm-hmm. 19. <laughs> Got a master assassin up in here. Bullshit. Crap. I haven't even taken the assassin rank yet. That's next level. That's coming. That's soon. <laughs> God damn it, that's another one lost. <laughs> when you have so many D20s, you're just like, fuck, that one's under the heater. Ah, oh, that one went under the chair. And it's fine until you're walking around barefoot and you find your D4. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the D4. Oh, D4s I recover immediately. <laughs> Look at Caltrop. You don't need oh, those things sitting around. You will forget about them, and then you will step on them. Yep. You'll find it in the middle of the night when you get up to go to the bathroom. Oh, I had my first Lego moment with Riley. She was playing with, um... She's got this, like, toy workbench where, like, screws and nails and pegs, they all fit in, like, different holes. So she got home, and she was playing with it. And I was going upstairs, and I'm dealing with, like, a pretty good case of the gout right now. So I'm going upstairs and I'm kind of favoring my right leg. <laughs> I stepped on one of the um, screws Ooh. that was like flipped upside down. So it's basically like a blue hexagon with like a wood peg that's probably about like yay. Ooh. And I didn't see it because it was just underneath the table. So I stepped on it with my big fat fucking gouty foot. Oh my god. <laughs> Get I was like, oh, and I like hopped and like like tried not to fall. She's like, then I'm sorry. I was like, you didn't do anything wrong, baby. It was just, it was just there. That's the kind of thing that makes you fall down the stairs, like, uh, oh my god. I like caught <laughs> myself on moment. like the closet and was like holding myself there for a second. The uh, the toys that that get me the most are we got Penny a um a big jar of like those little plastic dinosaurs. Yeah. 
yeah. how many times I've stepped on a little fucking raptor or something. And every time I'm just like, Arr! and she's like, what? And I'm like, pick up your toys, please. <laughs> we didn't get her dinosaurs, we got her animals. Uh, but they're all like, adult and baby. Yeah. The rhino sucks. <laughs> <laughs> sucks. Because it's hard plastic, well, so it's yeah, not so meant to, like, like, give. a one-inch fucking stegosaurus. Yeah. That I just find with, like, the meat of my foot, and I'm like... Mm. Yep. <laughs> you pick up your foot, and the stegosaurus is stuck to you by the so tail. stuck. <laughs> uh, Alright, so what's everybody else doing while you watch Eric's wander off into the, into the ruins for about an hour? I'm gonna pray. What? One in doubt. Your blue bucket's right there. I'm gonna try to try to scout out the local, like the close vicinity to see where my breath weapon would be most effective if they find us. Christ, I thought you were about to just walk away from the party again. <laughs> well, I had to be more specific with my wording. Yes, you did. We have about a 30% incline leading up to where you are that you just came up. And then you've got more like a 60 degree descent on the other side with the discree to go down. And alternatively, you have a big mountain on the other side and open air on the other. Okay, so we're like halfway up a mountain, we can just go down, or we can go up, or we can go backwards, or open air. Those would be directions, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on a mountain, so I can go up or down, jump off into the air, or that way. Fair. I, I won't say you're wrong. So I got prayer, I got one trying to scout the terrain a bit. What are you doing, Dador? I... I'm just going to be a watchman. All right. And as the one watching, give me a perception check. Uh, twenty-three. All right, Barrage, You think you find you can find some paths to continue up the mountain if that's what you wish to do. It would definitely be slow going. The door. As you listen out into the darkness, trying to catch sight or sound of your pursuers, you catch the scrabbling, hissing noise of of the tribe seemingly following your path. You'd guess they're maybe a mile or two back at this point, closing the distance. Eric, you reach the bottom of the scree hill, and you can see the backs of your companions as they look out to the rear of the path you came. Uh, I try to motion to get their attention without causing noise. Without causing noise. All right. Well, the only one with a chance to see you then would be Braj. Disadvantage perception check. And if he doesn't notice, I'm going to scramble off the screen. Twenty. He catches sight of you. What the fuck was that? Some things you don't ask. <laughs> Assuming I can see the barrage has noticed me, I'm just gonna motion, like, let's go. I'm gonna get everyone's attention and say, He's back. He's telling us to come and follow him. And I'm gonna point him out. Well, let us hurry. They're not far out. I could cast Leoman's tiny hut and we could try to, uh, go up the mountain a little bit and watch from up there. That would hide us pretty effectively, wouldn't it? Or, well, 
not necessarily hide, but... Isn't that like a, a safe space or however long it is? Yeah. Of course, I'm not going to stop them from just standing outside the hut and waiting until the spell ends. No, they can't see inside. Can they smell inside? Uh... Oh, well, this they know the spell. He's looking it up right now. So this is the dome is opaque from the outside. Um, so I'm yeah, they, go can, with yes. they can see it. <clears throat> but I could make it gray to blend into the background. Or black, because it's dark out. Better than nothing, but... Either way, you need to get distance between them and wolves. By the way, this camp wolves. I... Okay. Uh, so which way do you want to go? Up or down and around? Well, Eric's is at the bottom of the spree, so he'd have to climb up to catch, get up to you. Okay, we'll go down then, because that means he didn't have that. We'll just follow his orders. I'm still trying to guide us towards the giants, and they're five miles past. Well, I mean, I would... <clears throat> I'm trying to start a fight with the wolves first, though. Between the wolves and the rats. Assuming that they don't like each other. Well, I'm hoping that they don't like each other, and I'm hoping that planning rat cloaks in their uh, <laughs> camp will sow some discord. If that just plays off a of distaste for, uh, for rival tribes, then cool. Alright, so we're gonna try to work our way around it. So, uh, everybody going down the scree, I need uh, acrobatics for athletics checks. Rip the door. The door face plants and slides down. He does fine. I rolled for him. Dave, with his choice, still does not do very well. But at disadvantage, man. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't get exhausted so easy. Ah, uh, that's right. <laughs> Learn to take a forced march, Dave. Come on. You've done them a lot in this campaign, though we've never done them before. <laughs> did them like seldomly in any campaign before this time we're all about it all about it just we never sleep just keep marching well, I'm just constantly like fuck what the fuck is forced march well I mean at this point Lawrence pretty much knows what it is and Dave keeps getting exhausted which like it's I got my favorite it, tool to torture Dave with yes. it's, it's gonna lead to Dave's death I'm convinced of it at this point between forced march and icy cold Dave has almost died more to that than any enemies. Then that's yeah, that's why, died. that's why Leoman's tiny hut is the perfect spell for me. What do you mean? Don't you have... I mean, I know you have advantage for constitution rolls at this point. Or is it ice yes, like, weather-based? Is it resistant cold, or is it just constitution? Uh, it's just constitution. Because I know I got, so, I got cold resistance. Oh, I might have that, too. Oh, uh, but... I mean, that's not I what I was... Need, I think you needed to succeed on 
<laughs> rolls for cold resistance. So I think you got your constitution one because you failed enough. So I have elemental adept, cold, resilient, and defensive duelist, and inspiring leader. <clears throat> so next campaign, I'm leaning towards reverting feats to go back to what they were, but creating a flaw system similar to this feat system. A flaw system? Yes. That, sound, mean... that sounds very um, Outer Worlds. Yes, that's partial inspiration. Okay. Oh, so, flaw. Gotcha. Yeah, so basically you do something enough times and you, you develop a flaw. Yep, so it's like a you get an advantage, but you also get a flaw. Like a oh, I didn't say anything about that. Oh. Well, that's how it works <laughs> in other worlds. I said inspired by, not, not so stolen from. You, you'll, you'll, you'll remember that Outer Worlds is like, hey, you've jumped off enough tall things and almost died. You're now afraid of heights. That's the only flaw I've ever gotten in the game. I haven't chosen any. I've done a. I've gotten a few of them, but I haven't. I haven't picked any because I don't feel like the points are worth it. But I want to do a second run where I just like, any time I get a fly, I, I choose it. One I. Uh, that, that was my goal, but I only got the heights one. Uh, if you, you'll get. I'm. Um, I don't know what difficulty you're playing on or you play it on, but if you use the, um, the hypo or whatever it's called enough with like yeah. other things packed in, you develop an addiction. Yeah, that's, that's one of them. You uh, chemically dependent. That's a fun one. I think there's one for using the um, the slow time a bunch. I don't think I use that much at all. I started using it once I realized that that and the companion abilities were actually like stupid strong. <laughs> and I'm like, why is like combat so? Because I'm used to the Fallout kind of thing where I can just post up with a rifle and just pew, 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 pew. And Outer Worlds, I started doing that, but I started slowing time so I'd get that headshot with the vulnerability. And then I'd just have my companions go nuts. I really like that game. It was good. I haven't played it again yet, but. I did one playthrough. I played the Final Fantasy VII remake demo today. Because it's up on PlayStation now. I just want September to be here so I can play Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is going to be great. I want Cyberpunk. I want next year for Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Cyberpunk will carry me there. Cyberpunk will carry me there. Uh, but... Uh, I've got enough games in my backlog that I'm not too worried about anything. Uh, I can still be stupid excited because this month is both Animal Crossing and Doom Eternal. The Doom Eternal multiplayer looks fantastic. The Doom multiplayer was excellent, so... You've, have you seen the demo? Uh, I don't know if it's a demo, but I mean, they did the uh, the developer's play game of uh, the, the Doom Hunter versus Two Demons. Yeah. Oh, that was, I was like, that's sick. Yeah. That actually looked pretty awesome. There we go, Chris. Switched over from that big jug of water. Busted out the two liter. Atta boy. Atta boy. Get some Diet Coke. Got some Yak Demas and some Diet Coke. Nothing like some cancer sugar. Whatever, just kill me quick. I drink Mountain Dew. I'm just fucking around, man. <laughs> I drink Mountain Dew and Death Wish coffee. I'm going to give myself a heart attack in the next Ooh, ten years. Don't yeah, worry. Death Wish is good coffee. Death Wish is good coffee, and I drink like at the equivalent of like seven cups a day during the week. Yeah, if I make a pot of coffee, I drink a pot of coffee. So I have two or three cups before I go to work, and I fill my thermos up, and I drink that throughout the day. So I. I drink Wake the Fuck Up. Uh, that's a good one, too. This is what I drink. Not, nothing's, nothing's caught up to Cuban what coffee. What sort of hipster shit did you just pull up? Something from San Francisco Bay. Yeah, San Francisco Bay. Coffee. Sounds pretty weak. It's just... It's 
It's San Francisco. Francisco Bay. <laughs> Bay Area coffee. Death Wish coffee. The world's strongest coffee. I mean, it's just French roast, so it's it is. Ugh, what are you strong. doing, man? Dave, what life decisions do you make when you wake up? I'm gonna send you K cups of just Valhalla rising. Oh my god. Wait, what, what's wrong with French roast? Anyway. Drink some, drink some pure black Americano, motherfucker. It has water in it. So does coffee. Oh my god. <clears throat> Are you serious, Dave? <laughs> that has water in it. I, I just watched, How do you? What do you make your coffee with? I just watched Chris's mind stutter. Ooh. No, I'm I'm legit curious now. What do you make coffee with? No, what but do you put in your coffee machine? Vodka. I mean, that'd be impressive, but <laughs> explain a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make coffee with if you're not water, Dave? Ugh, water. Never touch the stuff. <laughs> There's <laughs> fuck in it. <laughs> no, but an Americano is just espresso, brewed espresso, and and you water it down. So where were we? All right, so everybody makes their way down the scree slide. <laughs> Safely rejoining Eric's at the bottom. Sorry, I... At the moment, I'm gonna download the Final Fantasy VII demo. Adam was just saying he just played that today. Yep. I'll probably download it and play through it again. You know how I feel about combat. What do you think? Uh, you're gonna want to change the settings. You can swap it to uh, a turn-based, I believe. The default is more action. Um, so the way they do it now is... Like, you can hit square with cloud, and you'll just go and attack, or you can hit triangle, and you'll do, like, you'll reduce your mobility and have, like, power swings. And some of his original limit breaks are now just abilities you can use. So as you're sitting there fighting, you'll watch your ATB build. So, like, when, when it would be your time to act, that's when you can, like, cast magic or use an item. But you can just sit there and, like, hit him with your sword. And then you can also, like, quick swap between characters. So if Cloud's in the middle of a fight, you can just swap to Bear and shoot a turret. So it's, it's for what it is, for being in action, like, hack and slash, it's done well. It's really fun. But if you're looking for that, like, turn-based, ah, I don't know where the setting is, but you're going to want to change that. But they have one. I believe so, yes. So at the bottom of the screen slide, what do we do? I'm going to motion to everyone to follow uh, to follow around, and like I uh, told the party, they're wolves, so uh, keep your sounds and your smells to yourself if you can. I'm gonna try to guide everyone around the camp to the far end, uh, heading towards. Is everybody being stealthy or just trying to keep your distance? Both good. Uh, I was right. say both. Everybody roll me a stealth and everybody roll me a perception. And everybody is aware of your presence. Chris. No. What? Chris. What I do? No, just oh. your. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Shifting gears. Uh, I can't <laughs> all. I can't all tab. So my stealth was a nineteen. My perception was a ten. Little salt and pepper. Salt, 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 salt. See? I can always count on you, Dave. I can always count on you. Alright, Dave has just alerted the entire world. Dave just, Dave just keeps the game okay for me because he's just like, oh, yeah, everybody else is super rolls. Don't worry, Lawrence. Everybody will see me and you can get your combat. 
As the party starts creeping around the outskirts, trying to keep their distance, you note a few scattered figures, clearly scouts of some kind, posted up at, you'd guess, 100, 200 yards a pace uh, away from each other. As you attempt to skirt the first one, you notice his nose raises to the air, snuffling, and golden eyes seem to focus on you. Initiative. At least you've always got Dave. Hey, man. If I'm the one that keeps it interesting for Lawrence in terms of combat... That's fine by me. Lawrence gave me all of the bonuses to my stealth that I had. <laughs> it's his fault I'm good at it. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll decay soon. <laughs> Your joints decay. I'm just waiting for the first, first good rainstorm. You're in trouble, man. Well. Hopefully I can do something before then, but. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know if it'll work. Wow, Chris takes first act again? No, I took it last time. Did you? Yeah. Oh, alright, well, I'll give you the credit then instead of Chris for this one, then, because I did it reverse before. I, uh, I rolled an 8. Fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Dodora, you were the first to act. What are we even responding to? Oh, that's right. The the nose is in the air. Yep. The scouts spotted. The us. golden eyes staring directly at Braj. Well, you can die. Whatever. No skin off my back, at least. How far away is it? Well, your skin's gonna come off your back very shortly. About uh, forty feet from you. I mean, as a skeleton, I don't think I'd die. But no, you won't die. You just be a skeleton. If I'm a skeleton, I can't decay anymore. Sort of. <laughs> there are pros and cons to both zombie and skeleton. I'll move 10 feet and try to blind him. 15 con six. Blinding him. He succeeds. Not 20. Oh, fuck you then. Bugger. I'm going to retreat 10 feet back. That, that didn't work. Next. Pretty much. All right. Anything else? No. Eric. All right. Uh, you said there's three? They're about, you notice at least three. They're each about 200 feet apart or so. Uh, only one seems to have noticed you at the moment. 200 feet apart, but how far away? One is about 40 feet from you. Okay. The closest, which is the one that seems to have noticed Barrage. The one that's 40 feet And now the door. Okay. Yes. Um, he hasn't reacted yet outside of sniffling and staring. Uh, if he's noticed Barrage and the door, I'm going to hope that he hasn't noticed me. And I'm going to shoot him. And hope that that works for sneak attack. Okay. It does. Uh, so the first shot's going to be a 21. That hits. Second one, a 19. That hits. And then... D6. Is it a magical bow? Right. The bow that yeah, 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 yeah. So three, eight, and then nine. Plus my arrows. Ten. So ten damage. Uh, 
20, uh, 22, and another six for sneak attack. All right, uh, as your two bolts, uh, no, they are arrows. Two arrows strike home uh, in either side of its chest. Gives a stumbling woof sound as uh, blood starts to pour from its wounds. It's, you hear a feral growl released from its lips. Anything else? My current, I'm still in shadows, right? Yep. All right. Uh, then I'll just hide. Stealth check. Uh, Twenty-two. All right. And uh, the beast stands there, raises its hands, and. Either hand plucks the arrows from its chest, letting them drop. As it does, you see its form ripple and grow into an upright wolf like creature as its face elongates, and you hear a Aah! almost instantly you hear the call echoed, both from the scouts and from the ruins. The clan of the wolf has been awakened. Brush, your turn. Um, how close are the guys to each other? The scouts. The, the pickets are each about 200 feet away, so the furthest one is about 440 feet away. Wait, I, I was talking about the, the scouts. Yes. You have one one picket 40 feet from you, and then there's, you can spot two others, which are each about 200 feet away from each other. Oh, damn. Um... So yes, I know. I know you were talking about the scouts. I don't know what a picket is, though. It's just a guy set up as a watch post. Okay. Picket is a checkpoint, a watch post, a watch point. Some it, it's just a guard or a couple of guards, generally used to keep watch or to prevent access to something or whatever. Hmm. In which case, I will I don't know, are we should, should we hightail it? What, is that, that, that would take it the wolves? No. I, I asked the group. I don't think we'll be able to outrun the wolves. I think this is fight. I have a really funny, clever idea in my head, but I can't share it because I'm not a player. <laughs> wolves on one side, rats on the other. I mean, we could try to hide within the, the Leoman's tiny hut. And hope they kill each other by the time it ends. Oh. You haven't addressed the smell factor yet. Yeah. I asked you earlier if they could smell through it. Yes, but they can't walk through it. So they'll just sit around the hut patiently until we either leave or the smell dissolves. What if I climbed inside my bag of holding and you guys brought me away. 
<laughs> well, I was saying stall and give give time for the two two clans to fight. Is what I was thinking. <clears throat> I could also use rope trick and open a other planar door for an hour kind of thing. I I mean I agree with Dave, but it's they're already on to us. Alright, if two of you think it's gonna work, I guess uh I guess we'll go with that. Well Brian said, but they're already on to us. Because they are. Yeah. No, I understand. I was just, like, trying to stall to, to give the other clan time to come and fuck them um, up. Fuck them up. And maybe we could get some sleep and then kill them in the AM. Get some sleep. <laughs> Fucking Christ! I don't. I don't even know like what you're about, Dave. I really don't. I don't understand how you like you play the game. It's like you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a tent, <laughs> and I'm gonna hope that they can't smell. And if they can, well, then we'll deal with it. And otherwise, I'm gonna make a tent. And in the morning, once we get a good rest, make up breakfast, coffee. We'll fuck them up. <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. That's and I'm just like they're here right now, ready, like fighting us. Like they don't we're here. And he's like, no, ten, two hundred feet away. Like it only takes me a ten, two hundred feet away, beset on all sides. I could really go for a nap. Yeah, I could just. <laughs> why don't we just go to bed? See what happens. <clears throat> Pick this up in the morning, guys. He's really embraced the dragon, that's all. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's a better argument than what he was going for. Yeah. Um, Alright, in that case, I'm going to say let's cheese it and start running away. Kill that guy. Go through him. Cheese it. I do have a harebrained scheme if that thing dies, but it's a long shot. So, Brush, what are you doing? <clears throat> I'm going to. Uh... What is a long shot? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one way to get all the clans to go the other direction get them all following you! Just keep. Like, hey, you smell us? Let's go. <laughs> On to the next. God damn it. Hey, I didn't say it was a bad idea, Dave. I didn't shit on it. It's really not a bad idea. It's not. <clears throat> to be fair. To be fair. It is, it is circumstantially a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you it... need to do it well. My only concern is you can't roll die. Yeah, th mean? that is amazing, Dave. After how many years we've been playing, you can you, you can can't do roll. this. You can like create this like entire arc and just bring all of the clans, but you can't roll a fucking die. So I don't trust you. <clears throat> Well, that's funny. all it is. I um, want you to do it, but you you're gonna roll a fucking six, and then we have to. Dave is my Dave is I... my little jester in the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I can. And then spend... he pulls off the miracle roll out of nowhere. That's what he I does. Can, I can spend a minute creating Leoman's tiny hut, and rarely. Then... Can't. But that's the thing that that miracle roll that he pulls off is on like some perception check in the middle of nowhere when there's nothing near us. When it comes down to like <laughs> the skin of our teeth, 
Dave gets the four. Why do you want a date? And then, I feel um, like shit. <laughs> I feel like when Dave gets the role, where he like breaks the perception, Lawrence is like, "I'm gonna carry this for like three or four turns. <laughs> I'm gonna allow him to like draw his weapons, <laughs> like just just hand feeds him. Like it's okay, man. I don't want you to die. I'm tired of picking on you. It's your fault, but I'm tired of picking on you. So just." Come on. Not going to see another Nat 20 for another, like, four weeks. We'll give him yep. this one. <laughs> that Nat 20 carries through, like, five rolls. Lawrence is like, plus two, plus two. What'd you roll, a nine? Plus I'm gonna, six. I'm going to look, yeah. <laughs> look for some cover in the direction away from the wolves. You got the mountain slope behind you. All right, in that case, I'm just going to fucking run. So you're just taking off? Yeah. Alright, well, at least you look like the guilty party. In the direction that, uh, that Eric's was leading. Nobody else had run yet. Eric's stealth again. Well, I mean... So with Dave on this one, I was guiding them around so he could feasibly just continue on that path just without me guiding. Is I think that what we're doing? To... No, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go stealth. Fuck it. I'm, I'm just trying to figure else. out what the hell you're doing, man. I'm gonna let someone else make the decision because apparently anything I do is I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what you're doing, man. I just had your side. No, I, I know I you did, did too. I know you did too. So one guy shits on your plan, and then it's everyone. Who <laughs> shat on his plan? I shit on your plan all the time, and you're like, all right, we're going to do what Brian says. Sounds right. good. Who shat on his plan? Jeez. No, no nobody what? did. did. Tw 20 He's high. mad because we we're nobody... like agreeing with him. We're like, God I, I, damn. Yeah. I feel like Dave feels like we shat like, on his plan fuck. by agreeing with him in some some point, at least. Yep. He's like, I'm not doing this at all. Hold on, wait. Everybody wait. agrees it's a terrible idea. No Everybody's on board with it. It must be a bad idea. <laughs> they just want me to die again. Even the DM is slightly encouraging me, so this must be bad. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not saying that's outside the realm of possibility here. I mean, isn't it always a possibility? So what are we doing, Dave? I know you had an incredible role. I just don't know what it was for. 20 stealth HUD. Oh, okay. The door? Sorry, I think Laura's being sick. Like Wait, is she ripping ass like that guy did in the vid, or? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I got her a takeout sandwich, and now she's like near puking. The car is her. even better. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. Go straight to third. All right, I'm sorry, I was a little distracted by her. Um, so Dave stealthed. Is that all he yes. did? That's all he did. And it's my turn again. We Ryan took yeah. his action. What? I didn't hear Ryan take Chris his action. The start of the order. Oh, whoops, I forgot about the four. My bad. Yeah, Babu first. I thought Dave was the four. Was I distracted that long? Jesus. My bad. I saw four and assumed it was Dave. Not a bad plan. Yeah, I'm just... Wait it out, see what happens. So not doing anything? No. Nope. Alright. I mean I'll take a perception check. What are we looking for? <laughs> Wait, where are we? We're at the base of the you're, hill. You're a little ways away from the scree pile that you came down. 
you were starting to skirt the outskirts of the ruins, and you ran into a picket. You've got the mountain to your south slash southwest. The scree is to your south southeast. The ruins are to your west, to your east, to your northeast, and mostly to your north. You're heading north, northwest to try to skirt around. Eric's put two arrows into the where and it howled as it changed form. My hope was that as a scout, he wouldn't have that much health. A human scout, he probably wouldn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't equate shifting and health. I kind of thought I could kill him in his human form and not have like the wear get affected. All right, how far away am I from? Forty feet. All right, so I will move in and attack. Charging? Or do you have 40 movement speed? No, nope, charging. All right, so you have advantage on your attack, and uh, enemies have advantage on you. Ooh, imp crit, possible crit, 19. I'm sorry, what, what was I rolling? You charged. Okay, so I am rolling my attacks. Uh, another M crit. 19. Uh, isn't the 19 only on one? One of the swords? No. Improved critical is... Oh, you have improved crit, sorry. Yeah, I have improved critical. So both swords hit and... Critical track. Uh, 18. Eighteen hits. damage on the first swing. Alright, your blade slices in, causing wolf fur and flesh to part. Your second? Second is a... 18. 18 hits? Oh, that's bad. right. It was a crit save. Uh, short sort of wounding, so... DC 12. He is bleeding. Right. And... 7 damage. Okay. Your second blade carves another sinew of flesh from its body. Anything else? Nope. Alright, now the door. Dave, you're the bard, don't you have it? He's not you as a bard. He's Dave as a bard. Yeah. You two plan for completely different scenarios. 
Dave doesn't plan. It's how he always has random spells that are effective. Right. I, I learned this when Dave was a druid. But I've never right. forgotten that lesson. Never it's, forgotten. It's also why, even though Dave is the same school as what Baron was, you were grossly more prepared for combat than he has been. Yes, except I just got a fucking spell component pouch, so all of my other spells didn't require any spell or like spell components. Like that was I was limiting myself just to spells I could cast to actually be helpful. I too didn't have a spell component pouch and have been limited to what I can cast. You too are a ranger. <laughs> you had a lot more fighting ability than I did. I was 18 break. Oh, Pokemon Masters joined, guys. He's gonna catch them all. It's 18 it's a spin. break. It's all about the spin. An 18 does break. What are you attacking with? Five damage of throwing a whip. And I believe you drag him ten feet closer, yes? Yes. Hmm. Will that be good or bad? As a thorny whip lashes out, it wraps around the beast's forearm, the thorns cutting in, causing blood to spurt. Yanks the werewolf from in front of Pavu. Pulling no, you don't get attacks of opportunity for forced movement. <laughs> he's, what? He's moving out of my. Okay. He is not voluntarily moving. You do not get attacks of opportunity for that. It's that. That's one of the hard rules on it. <laughs> Just like if you bull rushed him and he got flown, pushed backwards, he doesn't. You don't get attacks of opportunity for that too. Uh, yeah, but he it. got. All right, never mind. Doesn't matter. Anything else there, the door? Um, I'm gonna move within ten feet of him. Okay. Now he's almost sandwiched between the two of you. Anything else? I'm going to make it five in case he cheeses it. And I can get Ooh. an attack of opportunity. Moving up in his face. Staff ready. Ah! Yep. Oh, going with the hi hat. Hey, Smokey, did you catch the bandit yet? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you're up. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll take two. Uh, do I still have a clear shot at uh, at the wolf? At the wear? Uh, he's not got partial cover due to the door. Can I reposition to have a clear shot? Yeah, you think so. Alright, I'll do that. Okay. And fire two more. Fire! You have advantage. 26. Except you have disadvantage, sorry. Disadvantage? Firing into combat. Okay. Uh, so 19. 19 hits. And uh, two 19s. Disadvantage, I'm gonna roll 19s. Well, I mean, the other two rolls were like actual 19s. <laughs> yep, those both hit. fly into the beast from the side. One catching in the throat, the other inside of the chest. With a gurgle that was clearly meant to be a howl, the beast falls. Anything else? Hmm. The other 
two are 200 feet away still? 200 and 400. 200 and 400? Uh, I will hiss out a quiet go and I'm going to run forward to the body and drop the rat cloak that I have with uh, to keep my eggs. I'm going to take it uh, uh, unwrap my eggs and drop the cloak near it and attempt to run up the mountain, I guess. He's How much back. movement do you have? Uh, well, I have 30 feet, so this is just my plan. I was going to say, so you move 10 feet to get the shot, then he got pulled 10 feet closer, so uh -huh. 20 feet will say it gets you to the corpse. Okay. That's, that's my plan. That's what I'm trying to... Like, one's down, the other two aren't near. We've got forces approaching from both sides. Drop the rat cloak. We go. They've got the cloak by a fallen comrade. The other cloaks in town are in their little camp. If we can beat feet, and now Dave's got his chance for Leomans. I'm uh, going to use my reaction. And I'm going to raise the lichen. Um, what's triggering your use of a reaction? Fungal infestation. Six it's level, your spores gain the ability to infest the corpse and animate it. If it's a beast or a humanoid, small or medium, within ten feet, you can use your reaction to animate it, causing it to stand up immediately with one hit point. The okay. creature uses the zombie stab block in the monster manual. It remains animate for one hour, after which it dies and collapses. Uh, in combat, it obeys my own mental commands and can only make the attack act. Okay. I like it. Um, with a puff of his chest, those of you that are close enough can see spores burst from the door's form and slowly coat the downed were. In but mere moments, it seems to struggle back to its feet. Its eyes already milky white covered in blood but black spores already pepper its pupils as well as the remainder of its flesh mushrooms seem to sprout from its open wound as fungus seems to spread rapidly as the body animates I'm going to tell the zombie to point in the direction of the ruins when it sees another lichen and make my way towards the giants the giants are on the other side of the city. You're working your way around. Okay. So, so think, think of the ruins, the ruins here. Ruins are this big circle here. You came in from this side of the street. You're working your way around. You ran into uh, a scout about here. Next scouts are up here and here. Giants are over here. Make sense? Yeah. All right, my mental command is follow me. Follow me. All right, so to the door. Your god? With a sly grin. <clears throat> Just me. <laughs> Spooky. Ability not from god? Well, in a sense, all of our abilities come from a god. But this took years of training. Was it... Was it bequeathed to me? Hmm. Impressive. Alright, you hear echoing howls coming from both the ruins and from the nearby pickets. Even as you watch... Small... Um, the shapes that you've been watching as a picket seem to sh fall down to all fours as they seem to transform into full wolf shapes. Start trotting in your direction. Or the direction of the past picket. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to command the zombie to go out ahead. I'm hoping to use the zombie to point them in an opposite direction. That's it. I'm just hoping they don't notice a zombified fucking lichen. Shouldn't you have him go off the... Go off the thing? Well, I'm more concerned about the scouts coming our way. But maybe you are right. And Maybe I should be more concerned about what's in the ruins coming after us. Good thought, Dave. Well, if they're... Like, they know that smell, so I think they're gonna go towards their own kind. Right, didn't All right, say so they I should point them back towards the ruin, then. Is that what you're saying? Well, no, I, I was saying up the hill. Up the mountain, where the up the scree towards the rats. Yeah. Okay, I'm still slightly confused with the layout, but if that is it, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him to do that. Head towards the scree. Yeah. I'm picturing like we just went down a, a valley, and there's like. Um, like a circular ruins, and we're trying to like skirt around the right. The giants are on the other side of the ruins, and so we don't really have anywhere to go either into the thing or like back up where we came from. I'm going with Dave's plan. All right, with a wordless turn, the beast goes from fate, your zombified beast goes from facing the oncoming scouts to loping in a shambling and yet somehow oddly elegant fashion in the direction of the scree. As it moves, perception checks. All right, Eric's and Pavu both noticed that the incoming pickets seem to turn as they see their erstwhile companion heading towards the scree. It seems they have shifted direction towards the scree themselves. Sneak past them once they once there's enough berth. So everybody's just trying to tuck and hide right now, or what? Yeah, I'm gonna hide. Stealth checks from everybody. Um, are we still combat, or are we counting it out of combat at the moment? Out of combat at the moment. I will cast pass without without trace. Then give everybody a bonus. I believe that also masks your scent, yes? Veil of Shadows and Silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. Uh, can't be tracked except by magical means. Yeah, so, masks your scent. Creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage. So everybody gets a plus ten bonus to your stealth check. How? Oh. How? Oh. Nice. Which makes this stupid. And do you even want my roll? Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be like a forty-two. High score. High score. Did I break it? Ah, uh, it's a 35. Ah. Uh, Chris almost got you. Chris almost got I rolled a 19. <laughs> Alright, um... Even Dave with a plus 10 got 20. <laughs> Alright, I need to grab a charger for my... vape. Be right back. 
Hey. Ooh. 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 Sorry. Um, as you see, your own footsteps seem to be muffled, the shadows seem to couch in close next to you, tucked within your limbs, hiding yourselves. You stealthily move, a bit out of the way of the oncoming pickets, further into the darkness, and ever so slowly creep your way around the city, the city ruins as the pickets run past. You hear howls echoing from the ruins, seeming to gather closer, heading clearly in the direction of the scree as the pickets howl their way in that direction as well. It doesn't take you long as you look over your shoulders to see the pack of feral rat folk scrambling down the scree, quickly overwhelming the lone zombified werewolf. However, they do so in the sight of the oncoming pickets, who howl the new tone of blood-curdling anger, which only seems to inspire the rage coming from the, the ruins themselves. It seems you've inspired a clan war. Good. This pleases the door. As you continue to skirt the ruins, you can see the, the onset of the battle now, as rats seem to fling themselves down from the heights of the scree, landing atop packs of the small of the wolves as they seem to come rushing from the cityscape. Blood seems to fly as where fights were, lichen on lichen, as you continue to make your way out into the darkness, leaving the sounds of madness and battle behind. Was that the option that you came up with, Lars? <laughs> nope. Close, but no. Mine was actually a lot closer to Dave's idea. It might not have worked out as well for you guys if you'd done that, but I thought it would have been a fun way they could turn it. I figured at the very worst, like, the rat clan leader and the, the wolf clan leader would, like, argue about who got to kill us. Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of right along the lines of what I was thinking. <laughs> this ain't fight for a while, and then all of a sudden, oh, well, let's figure out what we're fighting about. Oh, these guys in the gray cl gray dome. Well, they're ours. No, they're ours. You'd have had me like, why not just cut him in half? Each get half. And I'd be pointing to uh, <laughs> to Brosh the entire time. <laughs> Split Brosh. Each take half. Both happy. All right, so what are we doing? You're far enough away that you, the sounds of battle are faint, though you can definitely hear them ongoing as the two clans seem to be battling it out. There's no way we could push our luck and try to get the giants to join in, do you? They might be hungry. Mm, not know much about giant. Not know if have stake in Clan War. Probably not. Well, if their sense of pride in battle is widespread throughout the race, perhaps it might not be a hard sell? Looking towards our giant professional, yeah, I know. I am different now. We can't make out what type of uh, giants these are, right? You recognize them as frost giants previously. I know giant. I could talk for us and speak on our behalf, but I am very different. I left the clan. Mm. And I, that I kind of like flex the gauntlet Just right in front. Of Still some miles off. 
we keep March to camp or do you need rest? Yeah, I could rest. <laughs> Then rest. Let's travel a couple miles out and then kind of dull the scent a little bit. Okay. Spell should have helped dull scent. Uh, in the morning, it'll be pretty obvious when there's a big blue dome or gray. Alright, let's get Continuing marching, or? Yeah, a couple hours. A couple hours, hours. Guys. Yeah, just to put some distance. Alright, time save. Force march again. Yes, save that is at disadvantage. Everything's a disadvantage. Oh. Really, mate? Pabu, a wave of exhaustion hits. You have exhaustion level one. A second hour? You would estimate, if you're heading for the Giants camp, you'd estimate you're about two miles out from it at this point. Uh, let's park here. We must be at our strongest. Yeah, let's park here. When we come for the Giants. Alright, I'll try to see if I can find like an alcove or something where the dome might be hidden in the morning. You find a few trees that might provide some cover, though most of the scape, landscape seems to be pretty uh, barren right now. And it's mostly still um, Sahara, or are we more in the like Savannah? Was what I was saying. Sahara Sahara would be the desert, the Sahara Desert. Yeah. Savannah is an actual landscape. Well, that too. Touche, touche, Cosmar, (laughs) touche. All right, I will cast Leoman's tiny hut and try to mimic the grass color. Okay. Creating a uh, sandy green brown shade. A large dome whoop, appears. If I remember correctly, Pavu didn't fit her, did he? No, he does. He does. He does. We did sort that. Yeah, it's just uh, large creatures, but he, he's only large when it comes to carrying capacity. That's right. He opted not to go in the hut last time. That's right. That's right. Yep. Are you opting out of the hut again? It's nice in here, and they can't enter. He says, but if you're in the hut, he can't hear you. I'll enter the hut, begrudging. Everybody that enters the hut suddenly feels warm, dry, comfortable, and safe. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can find something wild. Something what? Wild. Like a wild animal. You're going hunting? Huh? Eric moves out from the dome and starts to tr- attempt to go hunting. I don't want to stray far from the hut, but... Give me a survival check at disadvantage because not you're staying near the hut. 16. 
Um, give me an attack roll. Nineteen. All right. As you move about, you manage to snag a small hair by plopping an arrow through its skull. I'm going to eat the whole thing raw. You instantly feel better um, as your flesh seems to knit itself back together to some degree. Though your sense of smell seems to be a bit decayed in and of itself, you get the sensation that your smell has decreased. I will return to the hut pleased with myself. A fresh-looking Eric returns to the hut to find his companion sleeping. Yes? No? Trancing. Sorry. Sleeping, yeah. I'm reading that book. Oh, children's books for all. Yay. I am praying. It's it's like midnight, by the way. Yeah, I got a four-hour trance. I'm good. Hmm. Who needs sleep when you're dead? Thought the phrase was, you can sleep when you're dead. I could, but I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Have other ways yeah, so I'm not focusing myself. on the gauntlet. Sleeping? Sleeping. I, I had a feeling it would be sleeping. At least for the two living individuals and the non-elf. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Uh, bedding uh, down? Since, since I have, like, actual skin again, uh, does Leomans have some manner of, like... I don't know, can I give myself, like, a quick scrub down and not smell like ass so that they can track me? What are you scrubbing yourself down with? I don't know, I was just hoping, like, a bucket of water or something, but... I don't think anybody was carrying a bucket of water. Leomans doesn't provide you with anything. It literally just creates a dome that is suddenly comfortable and dry. I've got the cooking pot. Do you have water? I'd have to get it. But, again, I didn't know what Leomans had, so... If it had anything. I won't worry about it right now. Alright. Yeah. Alright, as two of you bed down. The door reads his book, attempting to learn more of the language of Machin. After a while, I'm guessing he passes the book to Eric's and then trances off himself. Yeah, around two. Eric's, what are you doing? All right, and we'll end there for the night. Right. So, including XP for last time, we're gonna say nine hundred. We kill the were werewolf. Good job, guys. Uh, you escaped the rat folk camp. You led them on a merry chase. You led them into an ambush and created a battle which killed off a good number of both rat folk and werewolf folk. So, werewolves. So, I mean, you, you, you may not have personally killed a lot, but you did a lot of tactical killing. <laughs> yes, yes. The plan worked. That's the important part. The plan yeah. worked. It worked very well.